For those of you who love vinyl and collect records, perhaps you have run across in your treasure hunting a Evatone sound sheet, or a flexible disc, or a uh, plastic record, whichever you want to call it. These were often put in magazines and used for promotion. Uh, from what I can tell, I've looked online and the company Evatone still exists. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, history on their website uh, about their uh, flexible disc manufacturing and history. But it uh, looks like there were two different uh, plants in which they produced the records. They uh, produced them in Clearwater, Florida, as seen on that one. And then you can see Deerfield, Illinois on this one. So these were often sent to people as uh, promotionals for uh, other record collections or uh, to advertise a product or to send a special message to someone in your company as in this case uh, Famous Bar, the owner or president of Famous Bar sent this disc to his employees to encourage them to sell well and uh, they'd be entered into a contest to win a trip somewhere. Uh, this has got to be one of the most boring discs I've ever listened to. Uh, I think probably one of the most unique uh, uses of, of these flexible discs as uh, shown here on my portable battery-operated Fisher-Price record player, is uh, they made records that had a particular person's name on them with a happy birthday message. So uh, if your uh, child happened to have an, an Indian name or uh, a name that was uh, unique to them, uh, too bad. But if you happen to be like me and your name was Brad, uh, then someone uh, could easily sing a song to you. So I wanted to play this one for you just so you can hear the sound quality of these flexible discs and just so you can see these, uh, these records here are in fact extremely flexible. Okay? Talk about your ultimate floppy disc. And I uh, hope my wife forgives me. I'm going to put my wedding ring on here to kind of weight it down because this turntable is rather slick. But uh, hey, if you happen to know somebody named Brad, uh, here's a happy birthday message for them, and then we'll look at the other records we've got here. This is Space Command to Zoom. All systems are go for your message to Brad. Hey, Brad, it's your birthday. I'm in charge of the stars, and I'm here to say, Hey, Brad, you're the big star today. My name is Zoom, and I live on the moon. But I came down to Earth just to sing you this tune. Cause, Brad, it's your birthday today. For you, I wanted to find an outer space creature, a one of a kind, a wild womp, or a kookle chew, an apple drop, or a buzzer snooze, or maybe a three eyed tickle shade. and stars. I even zoomed my flight to Mars and met my friend, the saucer man, and he said, Hey, Zoom, I got the business return, but your magnitude is something new. So how about a song just for you? And so tonight, when you're in bed, I'll be singing to you as I zoom overhead, singing Brad. Singing Brad, happy birthday. Singing Brad, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Brad. See you next year. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, a birthday message for Brad there. 
So uh, one of the unique uh, uses of these flexible discs, uh, they were very cheap to manufacture. I don't know exactly how much, probably uh, 10 or 15 cents a piece, depending on how many million of them you ordered. But I uh, just wanted to show you my collection that uh, I've collected over the years. So we've got this famous bar one. Uh, this was a very, very high-selling, popular disc. This is uh, Songs of the Humpback Whale, and it was in the National Geographic's January 1979 issue. So if you happen to be at an antique mall or somewhere and see that particular issue, and you're lucky there might be a flexible record inside about humpback whales inside that magazine. Uh, this particular one here a friend of mine gave me. I really don't know what this is. Um, it looks like a promotional for a video game manufacturer. But uh, Data Age. Very, very cool uh, graphics. Yeah, I think it is a, a video game manufacturer, actually. Here we have a Christmas message and New Year's message and prayer from Reverend Ernest Angley. I don't know if you guys ever uh, have heard of him, or I, I know he's he's not on anymore. He's probably not even with us anymore. But in any case, uh, that one's kind of funny. Uh, here's one that was in a... Uh, uh, it was a book by Burke Breathe, and it was a, I forget the name of the comic, but uh, this was a record that was included in there. It's actually, there's two songs. There's uh, You Stink, But I Love You, and I'm a Boinger by Billy and the Boingers. We have here a, uh, oh, it looks like a promotional disc for Ibanez. So uh, Ibanez presents Vinnie Moore. So I would assume he was an artist at that time period. Um, if you're a little bit older than I am, then perhaps you remember getting these in the mail. These were promotions for record sets by uh, Time Life. And, uh, you know, it would give you samples of all these different uh, songs that were on these records. Uh, the selections, titles. Uh, some of these actually have uh, copyright dates on them, but many of them don't. Um, probably the 1970s on that one. Here's a, uh, a Barbie Rockers disc. Uh, it does have a date on it, 1985. So uh, maybe when you bought a Barbie um, doll, you got a free record inside. Here's a, uh, a message for college seniors by S. Ross Johnson. And it uh, looks like this one was made by a different uh, sound sheet company. The... Uh, Americom Corporation. So that's always interesting. College president giving you uh, your uh, best advice there. Let's see. It looks like a, uh, a, rec a demonstration record for the Bible uh, narrated by or introduction by David Frost. Featured on this record are excerpts from the creation, the Ten Commandments, the 23rd Psalm, and the 150th Psalm with music from the Holy Land from 1974. And here's another Time Life, the story of great music, Beethoven, Bach, Bernstein, Tchaikovsky, Handel, all good. One-sided, see, nothing on the other side. Uh, this is probably a fairly common one to run into. It's called the Swing Era from Time Life, and it's so common, I have two copies. Here you go. The Reader's Digest presents your free audition record from Happiness Is. Up, up, and away with the happy hits of today. Woohoo. Uh, here's another Time Life one. The Ring of Nebulung. Excerpts from Wagner's Masterwork featuring that kind of stuff. And uh, it was on London Records. Very nice. All right. Moving on over here. These are a little bit larger ones. And these appear to have been used for vacation Bible schools in churches. All three of those, actually. This one happens to be two-sided, so it's a little bit thicker record. Here's a couple of interesting ones. Uh, the Columbia Musical Treasures. Greatest hits for the children you love. So a little sampler record for that product. Here we go, Burger Chef and Jeff, Monster Fun Sounds. And this is Fangburger's Haunted Hotel. Um, I remember these from Burger Chef when I was a kid. I remember getting these in my fun meals and 
was desperate to collect all, I think there was four in the series. Uh, somebody actually recorded this on uh, YouTube elsewhere, and you can listen to this disc. Here's a contest record. Uh, meet a real Ghostbuster, the new Ghostbusters movie mystery sweepstakes. This is from 1985 or 86, uh, put out by the Ralston Purina Company and Columbia Pictures. That's kind of cool. Here's a disc from, this looks like a really early uh, sound sheet. It says, uh, Downtown St. Louis presents Holiday Greetings. Selections from the album Sing a Song with Gw Gwyn at Christmas. And it has three songs on there. But look at that older logo. That's a very uh, primitive looking Evatone uh, or Evatone uh, logo there. And let's see, last but not least, amongst all of my flexible discs are some cardboard records, which these were not produced by Evatone, but who knows who they were made by. I don't know, maybe Evatone produced them. Great moments in rock and roll from Quaker Granola Dips. And these were actually like talking sweepstakes cards. You would listen to the whole record, and if you happen to be a winner of their instant winner contest, it would tell you so upon the disc. And it's got the contest rules on the back. And I did see a couple of these posted on, uh, on YouTube as well. Some people have recorded those. Here's another cardboard record, blank on the back side. And also from the Columbia Record Club, Terre Haute, Indiana. Special preview record, Spring 1964. Andy Williams, the Philadelphia Orchestra, the new Christy Minstrels, and Dave Brubeck. So there you go. So this is really a kind of a fun thing. If you happen to be at uh, antique malls or uh, Goodwill stores or you happen to be uh, you know, at a flea market or something, you can look for these, and they're usually mixed in with other people's record collections. So sometimes you have to kind of dig around to find them. Unless they were like me and they happened to collect these records and then they uh, might have put them in a folder or something. But uh, happy hunting and uh, thanks for watching this sound sheet related video. Have a good day.